Allied maritime approach for the placement of dunnage and stowage. An effective system of dunnage for rice cargoes has been developed and used by Allied Maritime Incorporated. This method uses three materials. Styrofoam, nylon plastic sheeting, craft paper. Styrofoam provides insulation. The nylon plastic sheeting provides a waterproof membrane and craft paper an absorbent and protective layer. The materials are used in different combinations in each area of the cargo hold to be protected. This diagram shows a summary of these combinations and arrangements. Tank tops and hopper tanks. These should be covered with craft paper overlaid with nylon plastic sheeting. Side shell. The vessel's side shell should be covered to a height equivalent to the intended loaded draft with styrofoam sheets laid between frames nylon plastic sheeting over frames and styrofoam sheets. Where styrofoam is unobtainable, craft paper may be used as an alternative between the frames. Transverse bulkheads. Transverse bulkheads within the main body of the cargo area should be lined with craft paper and then overlaid with nylon plastic. Alternatively, craft paper alone may be used. In number one hold, additional insulation is needed on the forward transverse bulkhead to protect from the adjacent cooler non-cargo spaces. The styrofoam is then covered with nylon plastic sheeting as in the side shell. If styrofoam is not available, craft paper covered with nylon plastic sheeting should be used. Similarly, any transverse hold bulkhead adjacent to the engine room must be insulated with styrofoam overlaid with nylon plastic sheeting. Hatchways and hatch combings. Topside tank sloping plate should be lined with craft paper covered by nylon plastic. The inside face of hatch combings should be insulated with styrofoam and overlaid with nylon plastic sheeting, but leave holes for ventilation. Once completely loaded, the cargo should be covered with craft paper. In order to gain maximum advantage from this system, it must be carefully laid. Nylon plastic sheeting should never be used to cover cargo as it traps any moisture in the cargo. Condensation may also form on its undersurface and drip back onto the cargo, damaging it. Ventilation openings must not be obstructed by styrofoam or plastic sheeting. These must be carefully cut and placed to preserve the flow of air into and through the cargo. Additionally, replace the cargo craft paper cover every time the cargo hatch or vents are opened as water from them could fall onto the cargo. This system is much more effective in reducing damage to cargo than bamboo dunnage. However, there are drawbacks related to the cost, availability, and disposability of the materials used. The materials are more expensive and generally less easy to obtain than bamboo. Plastics are not biodegradable and often difficult or costly to dispose of in discharge ports. Additional protection using sawdust bags. Sawdust bags may be incorporated into the system to provide extra absorbent material and increase protection against moisture damage. Although this adds more cost to hold preparation, these are offset by reduced cargo damage. In each hold, the bags should be placed between the side frame lower brackets where they meet the lower hopper tank. The bags should be inserted below the styrofoam sheets. 
around the edges of the tank top where it meets the lower hopper tank. The bags should be placed beneath the craft paper and plastic sheeting. Sawdust should be obtained in burlap bags.